The president also used his visit to meet with law enforcement and hold a discussion on safety. Our Charles Benson tagged along with the president's motorcade. President Trump sending a strong pro-police message during his visit to Kenosha, thanking law enforcement and talking with small businesses wanting to rebuild after the unrest. It didn't take long for the president to see burned out businesses and buildings destroyed as his motorcade rolled into town. He promised four million in federal money to help businesses rebuild and recover. We're going to work with you. We're going to help you. Okay? We'll help you rebuild. It's a great area. It's a great state. This should never happen. His next stop, a thumbs up for local law enforcement and the National Guard inside the incident command post. Governor Evers sent the Wisconsin National Guard to Kenosha last Monday and additional troops on Tuesday. But it was on Wednesday when Evers agreed with the president to send more federal help and National Guard members from outside of the state. I came to thank the law enforcement, the police, they're incredible. And the National Guard has been truly amazing. They all got together, they, they coalesced. The minute they got here, it was over. During a roundtable with local leaders and law enforcement, President Trump said the state would get $42 million for public safety and called out anti-police rhetoric. The president did not specifically address the police shooting of Jacob Blake, but I did ask him about it. Can you tell me what you would say to the Blake family? I know you didn't get a chance to talk to them, but what would you say to them in terms of the pain they're going through and the questions they have about what happened? Well, I feel terribly for anybody that goes through that. That's why I was so honored to meet the pastors. Uh, I feel terribly for anybody that goes through that. As you know, it's under investigation. I honor and respect our president, and I feel that uh, we got to come back to the place of, of sitting down to develop some comprehensive solutions, to have some comprehensive dialogue to analyze these problems. The president's trip to Kenosha County comes with just about two months until the election in a county that he won by about 250 votes four years ago. In Kenosha, Charles Benson, TMJ4 News.